Praise the Lord, my name is Rosalind, um, and I'd like to share my testimony with you today. Um, I came to know the Lord through a friend of mine, um, someone who I consider a best friend of mine. She's been a very good friend to me. Um, and uh, this is someone who you all know as Lioness. And um, I, you know, I've known her, we've known each other since we were really young, like probably 22. And, um, you know, before we both got, both got saved, we used to, you know, you know, do worldly things together, you know, going out clubbing, getting drunk, you know, all that. I don't have to go into details. You already know, you can fill in the blanks. But um, at a certain point in our relationship, we, we were not really hanging out and she, we, we walked away from each other, uh, from each other. And, um, you know, I ran into her years later and at this point she had already given her life to the Lord and she was married to works. And, um, you know, and I remember when I ran into her, um, I even from even before I got close, I knew something was different. You know, I could see the glow. Um, I could see, you know, something was different. I just was like, wow, is that Liz, you know? And so I got close and, you know, we, we spoke and she was telling me that she had given her life to the Lord. Uh, she shared how uh, her husband had been used by the Lord to bring her into the kingdom of God. And I was just so amazed at um, what I saw in front of me. You know, this is someone that I'd known for years and she was not the same person that I used to know and I could see it in front of my eyes and just seeing the both of them being so on fire for the Lord you know it was just it was just amazing and it was the Holy Spirit right there God ordained for that day to happen for me to meet them that day because that was the beginning of of, um, of God um, calling me calling me to him um, so we exchanged numbers that day she began to call me frequently and would pray with me, read the Bible with me, encourage me um, to really, you know, surrender my life to the Lord. And this one particular day, uh, she led me into a sinner's prayer, which I said with her, but I was not fully committed. I didn't fully repent. Um, and, um, you know, things just continued as they were. Uh, but, you know, probably like maybe, a, I would say maybe a week or two after that day when I said the sinner's prayer with her, God allowed me to feel the weight of my sins because I don't think I was understanding that my sins uh, were what was separating me from God. So he allowed me to feel the weight of my sins and it was a horrible feeling. Um, I felt just so weighed down. It was such a, a, a feeling of... I, I can't quite put it into words, but I felt very weighed down in my spirit. I could feel it. It was just a horrible feeling. And um, that day is when I, I got on my knees that night when everybody was asleep right in my living room. I got on my knees, on my face, and cried out to God. Asked Him to forgive me of my sins. Asked Him to wash me clean. Just repented of everything cried out to him cried and cried and cried and he answered me and just let me know that he'd saved me um you know that he loved me that he he's accepted me um and i felt his presence in such a mighty way i mean there was such peace in me that day such joy a joy that i had never felt such peace that i had never ever felt before and the happiness that i felt was amazing um, in the presence of God, you know, no one can deny the presence of God. That's when you know that God is who he says he is. And it's it's something that you can't quite explain to those who haven't experienced it yet. But those who have, who've experienced it know what I'm talking about. When you feel the presence of God, when you know he's there, he, he makes himself very known. And I knew God was there with me. I knew that the Lord Jesus Christ was there with me. And I give him all the glory and all the honor, honor for saving me and for all that he's done in my life. So that, that day I gave my life to the Lord completely, for real, I repented and I turned. And I remember the next day calling uh, Lioness and telling her that I had uh, repented for real, that at this time I had truly given my life to the Lord. And I could feel it inside that I was not the same person. I did not want to do the same things. I didn't want to keep going clubbing. I didn't want to keep drinking. I knew those things were sin. I didn't want to keep listening to the same secular music. God put it on my heart to stop those things. I used to do yoga. That was t done away with. I had to stop. I knew it was wrong. Drinking. 
it was wrong. I remember the day I took my last drink and it was probably maybe a month into my salvation. I took a sip of wine and the Lord said, no more. And I never took another drink and have never taken another drink since then. And I give all the glory and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I remember the last day I went clubbing, you know, I went clubbing with my husband after I got saved. And um, it was because I was, you know, still struggling with compromising and same thing. And I remember telling Lioness about this and she just was used by the Lord to really put conviction in my heart. And that was the last time I did it. And that was probably the f maybe second, third month of my salvation that I did that and never done it again, have no desire to do that. Um, God is not in a place like that. I'm so thankful, so thankful that God has been faithful and he's seen me through a lot of struggles and um, I'm so thankful to him. Um, I'm also so thankful to um, Works and Lioness because they were bo they've both been used in a mighty way to you know help me in my walk with the Lord. Um, like I said, um, after I got saved, um, I've been in the ministry since I got saved. And so after I got saved, I, I would go um, fellowship with them and they taught me so much about spiritual warfare, um, about praying about um you know just reading the bible just having that close relationship with god building my own relationship with the lord um they've also taught me about um you know not being ashamed of the gospel because that's something i also struggled with because i was such a people pleaser and i wanted people to like me one thing um that i struggled with was one you know realizing that when you come into into a relationship with christ you will be hated by those who hate him and unfortunately a lot of people that are close to me family members um have not given their lives to the lord so there's that contention there's that you know contention there and um i sometimes would compromise for these people but um you know lioness would always be very honest with me about this and just show me scriptures where it would say if you're a friend of the world you're an enemy of god um and you know, those, that's something that I, I, you know, struggled with, but I thank God that I, I don't struggle with it anymore. Um, so, and you know, it's just been such a blessing to be in this ministry. Um, I honestly can say that I don't believe I would be where I am today if I was not in this ministry. Because I remember when I first got saved, I actually used to go to this other church um, at the same time as I was, um, you know, fellowshipping with uh, Works and Lioness. And um, it was a very worldly church, you know, we would get, the seats would get filled up, but a lot of those people did not even know the Lord. Um, and the pastor didn't even know me personally. He didn't know how my work was going. It was just people coming in, putting their money in the, the tithe bucket, and that was it. You know, not really, and I'm sure there are people who love the Lord there, but if I stayed there, oh my goodness, I, I think I would be, I would be headed to hell right now. I thank God for being in a real ministry where I am taught the truth, where if correction is needed, it's brought, because the word says who, who the Lord loves, he corrects and he chastens. So that's a good thing to get correction. It may not feel good in the flesh, but it's good because that that's how God keeps us. We get corrected. We do When we do things that are not according to his word, correction is brought. We are to receive that correction. We have to love the truth. We have to love receiving correction, even though it doesn't feel good in the flesh, it's good for us. Um, so I thank God that um, Lioness and Works have both been used by the Lord in so many different areas of my life bringing correction. I mean, I can't even begin to name. I mean, if I, if I said it, if I listed how many times they've been used, I think I would be here for hours. So just, just know that, you know, it's just a blessing to be in this ministry. Um, they love the Lord so much. They love the sheep of the Lord. And they they um, are very committed to the Lord and doing what God has called them to do. So I'm very thankful for both of uh, you guys' uh, works in Lioness. I love you guys dearly. Um, I thank you, Lord, so much for all that you've done in my life, for keeping me, Lord, even when I um, was not faithful to you, Lord. I ask that you forgive me for all the times that I... Um, you know, I compromise, but I thank you for your, for your mercy and your grace that I am still here today, Lord. Um, I glorify and I honor your precious name, and I thank you so much for Ghetto Gospel, and I thank you so much for all those that are coming into this ministry. Um, Lord, um, 
I just thank you. Thank you for everything you've done in my life and I glorify your precious and holy name. Um, thank you all for listening to my testimony. That's all I feel led to share. Um, and I'm looking forward to meet each, meeting each and every one of you at the conference, Lord willing. All right, have a blessed day. Love everybody. Bye. Blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just want to say we love y'all. Love you guys. We thank, we send a shout out to all our partners out there thank you. that pray for us, that support this ministry. And we've been getting so many emails from y'all just testifying of what God is doing through this ministry with the word and the encouragement, how your lives are changing and how you're giving glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. You're not glory, you're not idolizing your ministry. Mm -hmm. You're giving glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. We've yeah. gotten so many emails and actually videos, private uh, messages sent to us that we've actually been inspired to do something new. Yes. It's called Testimony Tuesdays. Tuesdays. So every Tuesday or every other Tuesday, we want to upload your testimony. Come on. Bring we want it. you to have a platform Bring it. to tell the whole nations, Ooh. all the nations, what Jesus Christ has done in your life. Amen. Keep it within 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Don't turn it into an hour sermon. But what we want to do is have a platform where you can testify of something Jesus Christ did, some miracle, or just him setting you free from your old life. Oh. Amen. Yes. I mean, if you was an alcoholic and Christ set you free. Testify. If you was bound by drugs and you was almost at the bottom of the pit and Christ grabbed you. Testify. If you was in depression, wanted to kill yourself, and the Lord stopped you in your tracks. Testify. If you Come was gangbanging, prostituting, no matter what it is, testify. Testify. Amen. Gl glorify God. Glorify God. So no matter what you've been through, yes. we want you to testify. 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 Yes. Okay? The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. testimony. Okay, you need to testify to what the Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life. We want to hear these amazing stories of something that happened. Maybe you were on a deathbed and they said you was going to die and doctors didn't know what to do. And Jesus Christ spoke to you and rose you back from the dead. Wow. Or maybe it's something more simple, you know. We want to hear your testimony. Yeah. That's all, that's all we're saying to y'all. Okay. And glorify what God has done in your life. Glorify what the Lord has done in your life. It brings glory to the Lord. Second, it puts the devil to shame. You're exposing the works of darkness. And third, God blesses you more because you're showing you're not ashamed Amen. of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hey, well said. God. And Amen. to add to what she said, put it like this. Your testimony is going to be like soil where seeds of faith get planted. Ooh. I'm done. I'm done. Say that again. Your, your testimony is like the soil where seeds of faith are planted. How do you know your testimony, sister, can't touch somebody all the way in Australia? Something you, you got delivered from that Jesus Christ set you free from. The other person might still be bound, but when they see your testimony, brother. Oh, man, they get encouraged. When they see your testimony, sister. They get encouraged. They're going to say, if God, if the Lord Jesus Christ can do it for that person. He can do it for me too. He can do it for me That's too. Right. My wife and I have been set free from so many things. So we got so many goodness. testimonies. Oh and the ones, the videos y'all been sending us, because we already got a vault mm. getting filled up. Mm. So mm. starting this Tuesday, we are going to start doing Testimony Tuesdays. Amen. Amen. Send them, send them, send them. That's right. Jesus we saved. want a platform for you, all y'all out there. Um, just as a disclaimer, though, for y'all novices out there that have that Facebook Twitter, Instagram, Mind State, where it's all about you. If we see that your video is kind of like it's got motives and it's not really to glorify Christ, but you're trying to promote like something like your ministry, we're probably not going to upload it. So make sure you're led by the Holy Ghost. Make sure you do everything as unto, unto the Lord. Lord. Yes. So we love y'all. Love you guys. Now what you can do is you can go to wetransfer.com. See it right there on the screen. wetransfer.com. And when you upload your video, keep your video within 10 minutes, okay? Just just so it's more simplified. And uh, you can send it to the Ghetto Gospel Team, all one word, all right, through wetransfer.com. And uh, we'll go through them. We got already some people already ahead of y'all. We got some testimonies. Wait till y'all see the testimonies that we got for y'all. Hallelujah. We do appreciate y'all that sincerely show honor and love to this ministry. Thank we you. work very hard to feed y'all. Mm. A lot of a lot of behind the scenes work to get a word to give y'all. 
And for you to show that respect back and give glory to God and, and thank God for us, we, we want to say thank you. Thank you. And for y'all that go even further and become a partner to the ministry and pray for us, support us, and, and be in connection with us, thank you. Thank you. Yes. And the emails we get and the videos we've been getting sent to us, y'all don't know how inspiring you are. Mm. Because you're like, mm. your your appreciation puts more wind in our sails. Sure it's not, we don't sure need does. accolades. We're not doing this to get high fives, but it is appreciated. It is. The Bible talks about an elder being worthy of double honor. Yes. You give all glory to Christ, but you can appreciate those who labor, oh, that watch over your soul, that sure. labor for you, sure. that seek God to get a word to give you, mm -hmm. a nutritious word. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank we you love you so much. We love the Jesus in you. Amen. Amen. Yes. They didn't hear us. Uh, hey, <laughs> are you going to test? Are you going to test? Are they gonna testify, hun? Sure I don't know. They will. Should we erase this? Sure they will. Are you gonna testify or not? Are you gonna upload a video? Don't be shy, mm -hmm. sister. Don't be shy. Don't be shy That's now. Not of God. Uh huh. You wanna shy in the world. So whatever God did for you, sister, whatever God did for you, brother, it's time to testify. Testify. Amen. 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 Testify. What did God do in your life? Some story he give us a we wanna see a movie come to life. Wow. Whether it's who you used to be and what you are now, something he delivered you from, something he set you f set you free from, Amen. we want to hear about it. Yes. But make sure it's to give glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 It's time to testify, y'all. Thank you, guys. Anything you want to say? Say thank you, and we love you guys. We love y'all so Amen. much. Keep praying for us, and we pray for y'all too. Keep you praying know that? for us. Amen. Amen. We appreciate those prayers. Amen. Testify. Testimony Tuesdays coming to a coming to a what? I can't say it did in there. You. <laughs> coming to a screen near you, you know what I'm saying? The ghetto We out.